Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise higher, everybody praise higher, one more time, praise higher from whom all oh, blessings flow, amen, amen, this is your sister Carrie Ann, and yes, I the Christ, yes, I the Messiah, <clears throat> yes, I of Nazareth, if you want to know why, I call God a higher, and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, I have done a video concerning that one, greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel, Yashahel is the name given to Jacob, Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in his glorious name, Messiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ of the church. Hallelujah. Who more great king is coming back forward without spot, wrinkle, or blemish? I greet you all in his glorious name. Yesiah the Christ, hallelujah. All right, you can skip this bit, all right, and go to the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping, brothers and sisters. Uh, remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a little tick by the side. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report of them all right brothers and sisters please watch the video to the end there's a sinner's pride there for you and also we do something called the top 20 and the beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher underneath any video uh, i give your names a little shout out all right okay continue to like the videos continue to watch them if you can till the end subscribe to the channel share the videos go in the comment section and let's communicate together it just helps with the algorithm on you you pushes the video out um so that other people can see what we're over here talking about all right um thank you for those of you who have blessed me through paypal i really 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 appreciate it hi i bless you and your family and also those brothers and sisters who bless me on youtube here through the thanks button um up there in on my shorts videos as well thank you so so much ahaya eternally bless you all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah hallelujah hallelujah but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one that dirty antichrist of that dirty antichrist yes brothers and sisters that man is coming listen daniel chapter 7 verse 25 is about to be fulfilled satan will not maybe, not ifs, boats, or maybe he will. A higher, the most I will give it to him. And Satan will change times, laws, and seasons. So this world, this current world that you see right now will be changed. And it will look like the book of Eli or Mad Max, that type of post-apocalyptic world. That's why Yesiah said that you have to pray to be found worthy to escape. And when he says that, I believe he's talking about the woman in Revelation 12 with the 12 stars around her head that represents the 12 hebrew yeshahelites some people call them black hebrew yeshahelites but that's not the proper name proper name is the hebrew yeshahelites amen scattered to the four corners of the earth all over the diaspora and the actual woman represents the true believers but you cannot separate yeshahel hebrew yeshahel from the true church because they're one and the same so you have to pray to be found worthy to escape the woman in revelation 12 Amen. To go into the second exodus. This is called the great worldwide second exodus. Where Ahia will go throughout all these Babylonian countries. That are scattered his people all over the world. The most that is going to regather us. It is going to happen. It is coming up very very soon. And I am so so excited. Alright we have a prophetic theme song. I am sorry. So the second exodus is completely completely different. From the sixth seal in revelation because we know when the sixth seal opens what happened yeah son of man in the clouds of glory hallelujah but before the sixth seal second exodus will happen first all right okay we have a prophetic theme song called we are near it's a song that my good old mommy taught me when i was a little girl she said hi sweeties and toys and um when we're near to the stop she's sing a song called how near you are Fitting song for this channel, fitting song for the end time, because we're truly near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. 
Yes, we are in air. And we can sing that song with confidence. All right? Okay. Hallelujah. All right, we have two ministries. One for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yeshua. So this video is a continuation. Oh, Lord. End time prophecy, brothers and sisters. Listen, the most I listen to me very, very carefully. Because some people will have to go into repentance mode at some point. But the most I is, is the most I is using this situation in Babylon, US. Some of you may think, oh, well, it's not that big. It is massive. It is massive. And he's using this situation with this NFL football star who died, all right, called Damar Hamlin. I've been talking about that guy. You need to check out the playlist. Brothers and sisters, Damar Hamlin. The most is using that situation to show you what deception looks like. Do you hear what I'm saying, church? Ahaya. Hallelujah. Because when the real deception steps in, if people can fall for this deception with Damar, running up and down saying that, oh, Ahaya. They don't call him Ahaya. They said, oh, God. They said, Jesus. That's what they said. They said, Jesus. We pray to Jesus and Jesus heal Devar. If you can use this deception, if you cannot identify deception with this situation, how is it you're going to identify when the Antichrist comes? When he's smooth talking, when the false prophet comes on the scene and he's smooth talking and the delusion and the spells are cast over the people. How are you going to break through? This is a massive, massive test run. For the, for the church, really, because this thing is aimed at the church. Why is it aimed at the church? Why is they more humbling situation aimed at the church? Because the first thing to get the church to pray for somebody who is already dead. So who have you been praying to? That's a legitimate question. Those of you who have prayed. The, the Caesar told you to pray. Isn't it? Your pastor told you to pray, didn't they? No spirit of discernment. You rush, run on your knees, bow down before the most high. You begin to pray, but who are you praying to? And who are you praying for? Because if you come to me and you say, Sister Carrie, when they are dropped dead on the pitch, they didn't say we're dead, but they said they had two heart attack, whatever. All right, but we know the truth. Oh, uh, if you say to me, Sister Karen, did you bow down on your knees or did you clasp your hands or did you say a little prayer for them or never? Not one. Didn't utter, didn't say, Father, he. Because I know the truth. A higher cannot lie. You can't, you cannot, I shouldn't say I cannot pray for somebody that's dead because obviously a higher, a higher can um, raise anybody. But a higher is not going to be a part of this mess where Satan is going to get the glory. He ain't going to be a part of it, brothers and sisters. And so, people have prayed. But the question is, who have you prayed to? Who have you prayed to? And what have you prayed for? Who are you praying for? All right. So I put out a video yesterday concerning Damar and going to this NFL business. I don't know where it went to some game, isn't it? And it was hiding. It was it was playing peekaboo, <laughs> peekaboo. That's what he was doing. He was in his hoodie. I'm saying Damar. It's not Damar, really, but we we'll call him Damar for now. All right. It was in his hoodie, this fellow, I call him fellow, this fellow who claimed to be Damar, was in his hoodie, were playing, were playing peekaboo, hiding in his hoodie, side turn, waving away, and, and, and let me just quickly say this one, for somebody who has just had cardiac arrest, um, you saw him in the, in the private suite, that's according to the wicked, alright, the media, Saw him in the private suite, rocking away. Have I deleted? Oh, I must have deleted them videos. Oh, gosh. Oh, have I deleted them? Hold on one second. I wanted to show you again. Oh, yeah. There he is. All right. Let me see if, I can, if it's, this is the video. But you saw him waving. No. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, it's this video. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to get to the message, but this is so important, brothers and sisters, because this thing is just so wicked and trickery. It's unbelievable. All right. Hold on one sec. Oh, my iPad. All right. So he's clapping away. My iPad's dirty. 
Now, for someone that's recently had cardiac arrest, two at that, not one, look at him waving away, waving away, waving away, waving away, waving away. That's not him. That's not a heart. That's a pyramid. And again, this is, and I missed it, okay, brothers and sisters. Sister, said, Sister Kerry, you didn't see when he made the pyramid sign. He didn't make the heart sign. He literally made a pyramid, right? So for somebody who has had cardiac arrest, too, according to the wicked, right? And you're doing all of that. Whatever. I mean, that's taking a toll on your little, <laughs> little, that's taking a toll on your fragile heart. And for somebody, according to the wicked, that said he's on oxygen daily, that's what the wicked says, this fellow, Damar, is on oxygen daily and he's, at his, and he's got heart monitoring every day. So surely the people, the medics who are looking after you will say, take it easy. Two weeks and they're there doing cardiovascular. Might as well run around in the pitch. That's not him anyway. But anyways, we know it's not Damar. We know. Those of us who are fully awake, that's not Damar. I don't know who this fellow is, but it's not him. All right? Um. So, yeah. So, brothers and sisters were also saying... All right, let me see if I can pause it here. Oh, hold on, brothers and sisters. I'm coming. Just bear with me one second. So, okay. Um... I missed it because brothers and sisters when I showed this video yesterday they were saying sister Karen didn't you see he made a pyramid but I wasn't focusing on the pyramid I was just focusing on who this entity is surely it's not them are but watch this look at the my iPad is so filthy I don't know I don't know brothers and sisters honestly my iPad gets so dirty but look at the, the, the pyramid all seen satanic eye look carefully look that is not, is that a heart shape? That, that's not a heart shape, is it? That's a literally a pyramid. All right, so let's get to the message. What time is it? Let, let's get to the message, what I want to say now. Somebody commented underneath the video. Lot, lots of comments. The comments are interesting. I love the comments underneath my videos. But anyway, know, we're beautiful, beloved. There are more than one, really. But it, I just managed to, this was the first one, so I just commented back. So, somebody commented and says, Sister Karen, why are the family going along with this fellow? I call him fellow. Why are the family going along with this fellow? A.K.A. so-called Damar. And all the Holy Spirit put in my heart and I just typed in the comment section and I said, Trapped in fear. Are you listening? Trapped trapped in fear yes money is involved obviously and i believe that's that i beg your pardon i believe that's the reason why is charity damar's charity since his, oh, since his death since his death really but they said he's back but anyway since the time he fell on the pitch up until now they've raised two million two million in donation for his charity within two and a half weeks since he collapsed two million brothers and sisters so i believe that money is raised for the family to keep quiet to be honest with you i do believe that right but here's the thing here's the thing i heard the lord says when i read a comment when beloved says sister karen why is the family keeping quiet and the lord said i heard my spirit trapped in fear trapped in fear and it's not only, it's a lot of fear going on, isn't it? It's not only, all right, if you open up your mouth and say anything concerning Damar and tell the world the truth, um, the consequence is going to be great. It's, 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 it's physical fear and it's a spiritual fear because they're using a cultic to control the situation. All right? So I said, okay, Father, I said, how long can this can the family put up with this for? Because surely if you love your child and your child has passed away, you want to grieve properly. This is what I'm talking to the most high. I said, surely a higher. If your child passed away, or your loved one, or anybody that you love dearly, you want to grieve properly. But the wicked is saying to you, um, don't grieve. 
not just yet because we need to finish finish the ritual and i believe that the family will get a relief <laughs> my gosh father mm -mm, no sir this control is just evil and wicked very very wicked your child has died or your loved one you can't even mourn or bury them in peace or have because the wicked is saying to you um don't not yet don't mourn yet don't let the world know but i believe that the family is in cahoots with the wicked in terms of what do i mean in cahoots i believe this is what i believe this is what i'm seeing in my spirit i believe that the wicked have told the family to hold on just a little bit longer um and that they will grieve they mar in due course they will give him a proper send-off or funeral if you may um and that they will tell the world that they are has passed away how are they going to do it you say to a career how are they going to come and say oh how, how are they going to come and say they are has passed away when they're saying that he's doing so well but the, the cues are there if you go and read the article the cues are there to tell you that this they're going to come and they're going to tell you unfortunately i don't know how they're going to do it but they will come and they will say mm, unfortunately um his heart was too weak he did a good fight <laughs> if you read this new york post i would say go google that have a good read it's quite lengthy but have a good read all right when you read that in it it tells you that damar the fellow he is on daily oxygen he's on daily oxygen according to the wicked and he's got his heart monitored every day so you know what that is what that means they're basically saying um yes he's out and about but he's not really out of the woods that's what they're telling you because they have to have a drop back story because when they finally come to the public and come to the world and said unfortunately he didn't make it his heart was too weak so that's what they're gonna say gonna, they're gonna say that his heart was too weak or that the family found him asleep dead in bed or some foolishness but when that story breaks brothers and sisters i hope you don't believe it i hope you know that this young man sad really sad 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 i hope you know that he died the true true original god almighty the true true original damar um the true original damar i'm just trying to find a photo of him um died on the day when he collapsed on the field that's the true damar that wasn't a clone that wasn't somebody fake no that was the original true Daymar Hamlin. It was him. It was a true Daymar. This young man. Look at him. Hmm? This is a young man. Alright. That's him. That's the real Daymar. That's the real. Original. Daymar. This is him. Brothers and sisters. This is the one. That died on the pitch. Mighty God of creation. Father, help us, Lord. These people are just... It's, it's sickening, really. And they're using Israel. That's not Israel. Yashahelites to do their dirty work. The wicked. Why? Oh, Lord. So, <clears throat> it's just because I've deleted. So, that's the real Damar, right? That's the real Damar that I've just shown to you. This one, we don't know who this fellow is. We have no idea who that one is. Like, who is he? Who is who is this fellow? This this is an entity. It's sad that people are following this story and believing that this is the guy. But they will come out with the announcement. The family is trapped in fear. If, if you want to pray, and well, I say prayer, because they're going along with it, isn't it really and truly? But they shouldn't. They should really but it's fair fair is gripped them isn't it but 
um, they will come out. They will come out, brothers and sisters, and tell you that it finally is passed away. So then the family can grieve. That's an entity right there. I don't, it's, it's not, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong on many, 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 many levels. So, Damar attends Bill playoff game in person. Cheer some sweet. So, all right, okay. Let me just, hold on. This is, this story is just getting, hold on one second, brothers and sisters. I'm coming. So wicked, honestly, I just have to open my window. I've got me heating up, well, I did have me heating up. Now, the, the, these people, higher, higher, please, higher, please, please, Father, let this truth come to the forefront. Please, higher, let this truth with this young man come. To, see, see how the see how they're wicked. Now watch this. I'm just searching for a photograph because I wanted to show you the original Damar. I know you know him already and compare him with the fellow, the entity, right? So this thing came up and it says, Damar attends Bill's playoff game in person and cheer from the suite. All right, fine. That's what the wicked says. And look what they've done. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, brothers and sisters. So this is the game that he attended on Sunday gone, right? The 22nd or something like that, the 22nd. Um, where he didn't show his face, he was doing the pyramid sign, this, that. So they have the cheek. The wicked have the cheek to have big headline. Damar Hamlin attends playoff game in person, Sunday gone, 22nd of January, 2023. And cheers from the suite. So they have the audacity to show a beautiful... A beautiful photo of Damar. So this is him. This is the real Damar. This is the Hebrew Yashahelite guy. This is the real original Damar, right? So they have the cheek, they have the audacity, they have the the bare face to put up a photo of this young man, but could not even show a proper photo. Or not a proper photo, that photo, but did not have the, uh, the 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 humanity to show the whole entire world a close up, beautiful picture of this lovely young man, right, in the suite. No, they didn't show that. They just show somebody in a red hoodie, hardly can see anything or whatever. But they have the cheek, right. To put up a nice photo and tell the whole world, see, this is him. They're saying that this is Damar that attended the playoff on Sunday. So they have the audacity to put up a good photo of this young man. Where are the family? I mean, if I was a family, every time I look at this photograph, brothers and sisters, honestly, I don't know. And I believe that they're going to come out and they're going to tell you that Damar has passed. So they, 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 they have the audacity to th see what they've done. Who's done this? Two different person. How are you going to look at these two photos? Mighty God of creation. No, I know you probably can't see. How are you going to tell me that these two photos are the same person? Look at that fellow in the blue. I don't know if you can see his eyes. I'm going to see if I can go up closer. Let me see if I can. Um... No, this is the... right. Look at look at. I've done, I've done this already, and I've shown it to you already, brothers and sisters. Look at the eyes. That is not. <laughs> oh my god! Have a good look, cause I'm going to contrast it with the other one. Hmm. Totally different. This one have a black, like a little black dot. So let me go back again. This 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 is. So this one's got a little black dot somewhere. This entity, and, and look at this. Look at the beautiful Damar. Look at him. 
right? So this is the original Damar that, that, that sadly died. It's very, very sad. So this is the original guy. Can you see the eyes? Two different, look, his eyes are brown. All right? And if you go back to his <clears throat> photos on Google and pull up some photos, you'll see that Damar's eyes are, it's, it's of a brown complexion. Trying to get it big. I want you to check out the eyes, brothers and sisters. Please look at the eyes. This is the original Damar. Father, let me see the eyes. Look at the eyes of the original Damar. This is the young man, sadly, that the moonshot has killed. Right? The moonshot has taken his life, stopped his heart. Very sad. Who is this one? Who is this entity? What the heck is this? Look at the eyes, brothers and sisters, two different people. Mighty God of creation, the fool in the whole world. No so deception. Deception at its finest. But higher is going to bring it to a, a standstill. And I believe that the wicked will come out. I don't know what they're waiting on, but it's some ritual. Some people said they're waiting until the Super Bowl. I don't even know when the Super Bowl is. I have no intention of watching it anyways. But I don't know what they're waiting on. But I don't know how long the family can play, play with this thing. And pretend. How long? Don't you want to grieve your child? Don't want you to grieve your brother or your, your nephew or your best friend. And they're playing along. But they will come out and they will tell the world, unfortunately, Damar has died. But we know he died ages ago. We know. If you go back and read the article, watch this, brothers and sisters. If you go back and read the article, this is all the lie. And, all, you know, all of those so-called teammates, so-called teammates who, I don't know, co-hunged or come together they have to be very careful maybe the life have been threatened as well but who knows but listen to this normally in sporting if you i don't know should know really but <laughs> normally in sporting if you go um in the locker room or the changing room and it's a big massive event they normally take photographs and you see photographs sent out with, you know, with the in the in the locker room or the changing room. Football stars do that. So they're saying in that article in the New York Post that Damar visited his teammates in the locker room. But where are the photos? Where are the photos with I've seen a video, for instance. This this is just off. I've seen a video, alright? Somebody posted a video. Some of you know this kid. He's called Mbappé, all right? Football star guy over there in France. Mbappé, right? So Mbappé went to Babylon, New York. And he went to watch the NBA with Kyrie Irving and his teammates and everybody, right? And at the end of the video, they showed Mbappé in the locker room. In the locker room with all the NBA stars. Shaking his hands. So why couldn't they show us a snippet of Damar? They said that he was in the locker room, the changing room with his mates, teammates. So why could they show, knowing that he's recovering from two heart attacks? Why couldn't they show, why couldn't the wicked show Damar in the changing room or the locker room, whatever you call it, with his teammates, you know, just shaking hands, doing bum fists, Hugging and say, oh, nice to have you back. Showing support. Why did just write a tiny little line and he went to the locker room to visit his teammates? Because he's dead. Damar Hamlin is dead, brothers and sisters. End of story. And I cannot wait for the Most High to just bust this thing open. They're too wicked. Too wicked. And this is deception. Deception at its finest. And if people cannot identify deception right now, in 2023, with this Damar situation, more deceptions are going to come.
more deceptions are going to come and what are you going to do you have to learn to activate you have to learn to use the spirit of a higher because he is the spirit of truth and he will lead you into all tr this is why i don't go to church because these wicked pastors they have no discernment no discernment at all some of them not all of them some no discernment None whatsoever, brothers and sisters. If the pastor said jump, they said how high? How high? How high should we jump, Pastor? No discernment of asking question. I don't live in Babylon, US. I don't. I never heard about this guy, but from when the beloved sent, I don't know who sent me the first article, I said, Oh, this day my person's drop collapse on the page. And I begin to look into the situation, and the Lord said, Look, I will show you. And I hired Tom that he died on the pitch. Brothers and he died. But it's ritual. Family is trapped in fear. But for how long? But they will. They're going to come out. They're going to come out. They're going to tell you that he's dead. It's just a matter of time. They will. The original Damar is dead that I showed you. It's past. Sad. Very, very. When you, when you really sit down, when you really sit down and you analyze and you think about the situation with this young man, 24 year old, moonshot killed him. His heart couldn't handle it. His heart could not handle the moonshot. That's what it is. Because just just. It was overwhelming in his body it was too strong and it took him out and I told you that he, he literally died before he hit the ground because it was sudden so it is sad and it's, it's sad and I feel I don't know how to feel well with the family, that's the part that's bugging me. Because I'm thinking, how could you? I know you're crippling fear and maybe because the wicked probably say to them, look, just go along with the game. In the next two weeks, we're going to announce that he's dead. We're going to tell them so that you can bury him properly. So if somebody come to you, give you a bunch of money. I mean, remember, it's charity over two mil and it's growing. Right? So if somebody come to you and said, oh, I know that your son is dead, or I know that your daughter's died, or your husband, somebody that's really close to you that you love. But, this is the wicked, I know that your loved one is dead, has passed away, but shh, don't, we don't want the world to know yet. Or don't tell certain people yet. Just, just play along. Um, we will announce it, don't worry. I mean, you, we will let you know to tell people that you know, he's passed away so that you can bury him properly. But for now, but for now, we're going to use uh, a lookalike. Jesus, God. Wicked. Terrible. We're going to use a lookalike and, uh, and just play along with, with it. You'll get your money. You'll get your proper, your proper burial. This and that and everything. But just, just, and the probably family just says, all right, and, and, and they're looking forward, forward, they're looking forward for the wicked to announce the death of their loved one so that they can give him a proper burial. But I don't, whether it's brothers and sisters, think, I don't, I don't even think, I don't even quite, I would not go with it. I couldn't. I would tell the wicked, you need to tell the world that my son is dead or my husband or my, 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 my daughter or my, whatever. But <laughs> trapped in fear. Do you hear what the Lord say? The family is trapped in fear. Going along. But the question is, and Ahaya hasn't really revealed this to me. I know it's ritual. But why the prolonging it? It's a good question. What let me know what you think, brothers and sisters. I haven't really asked the most that I hire this question. I would say, Father, why, why the prolonging is, 
is um is announcement of his death so why the pro pro prolonging it well there's something in it ain't it i know some people said it's to do with the super bowl i don't know I, I don't know but there must be a reason why the prolonging day mars announcement but sad to say that young man is dead very sad he is he's passed away brothers and sisters it's not anybody that you see using his twitter account and coming up and this and that it's not him and any tweets any tweets or facebook post instagram or whatever comes out and he tweets it's not him it's not the real day it's sad very very sad and he's uh, and a uh, higher sits high and he looks low and he see what the wicked is doing it is a test run it's a deception but my question still remains those people those church people who went on their knee cried tears this who did you pray to who and who did you pray for who did he pray for because he died he's dead so days after it well days is still praying or they keep on saying oh he's in the hospital he's in i see you this that what of you hmm? who did you pray for because i i can guarantee you that those of you who have prayed you pray for an entity and who did you pray to because it's not a higher it's not him so who did you pray to it's Baal those prior that has prayed for Damar went straight to Baal you prayed for an entity sad people have, you have to learn church church you've got to learn to use discernment in this is it, without discernment you're not going to make it you've got to have discernment and understand what's going on so you have to revisit the most ties in it you have to go back to Hahaya and say father look i prayed for Dema, but it wasn't him that i was praying for because he was passed, he passed away. He passed away, so it wasn't him. But brothers and sisters, we have to understand the times and the season that we're living in. And it's not pretty. Strong. Bible talk t tells you, ain't it? Strong, not weak. Not just a little bit strong delusion. Do you know what strong delusion is? Strong delusion look exactly like the truth. Strong delusion looks exactly like the truth. That's what strong delusion is. Deception. Deception looks like the truth. But it takes a spiritual person to identify and know what's going on. But prepare for the announcement of Damar's death. And it won't be long. Because the family, yeah. They're no longer going to keep it up for. But prepare for it. But that young man passed away, brothers and sisters. Really has. Sad. Alright, if you come to the end of the video. Uh, these are the top 20 beautiful beloved. <laughs> underneath the p powerful video that I did yesterday. Concerning Damar deception. Where he went to the playoff. And he was in the suite doing the pyramid side and carrying on and hiding his face <laughs> and all of that. Uh, yeah. I don't know who that fellow is, but it ain't Damar. I don't know who that one is, but it's not that young man. All right. So these are the top 20 underneath that video. Honey B198. He kept me Jan Natural. Julie Mayberry. Jereen Smith. Tashanda Taylor. Yanisha. Mona Lee. Pedra, Malcolm Pinto, Lynn McClam, Pauline Anderson, uh, Chandel, daughter of the Most Stai, Ken Kenesha Beauty, Purple Posh, 
Fashion Femme, Asana Brownie, Peda Todd, Peaches Scott, The Holy Watchers Ministry, uh, Stacy and Small, Cynthia Dersarda, Vakima Young, All Things Made New, Yaz Daughter, and Kish and Kachini and Kachiri and Kachin and Kachiri, yeah, and Kachiri. All right, Renita Miller and Nikita Thompson, Top Twenty Beautiful Beloved, on the powerful video that I did concerning the Raymar deception. All right, and um, for come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior. Please say the sinner's prayer after me. Dear Yesiah, the Christ, I know that you're the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection. And that Ahia has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you're the son of Ahia, Yesiah, king of glory. I come before you right now. And I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah. And I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38 where the Bible talks about repentance. You have done that. You now need to find a man of the most high, Ahaya, and ask him to baptize you fully dunk in water spiritual transformation when you go down in water you're saying that Yesiah died on the cross you believe in the atonement of sin when the man of the most star raised you out of the water you're raised into new life you are raised into the power and the glory of Christ's resurrection beautiful stuff so be, be bold be strong be courageous walk with a higher just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job all praises, all beautiful praises to the most that Ahaya who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen. Let's say the benediction. Benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Yesiah, our Savior. Be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen.